Wake the Desert's 20th anniversary kicked off at Middle Concho Park at Lake Nasworthy. From 8 in the morning until 6 in the afternoon, this is the world's longest three-day wakeboarding and wake surf competition. So today we started off the event with the amateur surf divisions. Tomorrow we'll have our amateur wakeboard divisions with the uh, preliminary rounds of the pro wake surf and outlaw wakeboard. And uh, then Sunday we've got the finals, the, the big event where you're going to see all kinds of action uh, from the pro wake surfers, the outlaw wakeboarders. You can expect to see uh, all kinds of spins, 720s, 900s, double flips. What these guys are doing is incredible. This year, around 3,000 spectators are estimated to come throughout the weekend, and over 100 riders from all parts of the world are expected to enter the tournament. A lot of these kids get super, super excited when they ride for the first time in front of this huge crowd with the radio going and the announcer going and announcing the tricks and whatnot. So that, to me, is the most rewarding part of, of the whole tournament. All skill levels and ages are welcome to compete in different divisions for a chance to win trophies and rewards. But the grand prize winner takes home $60,000. Great people. You'll see all the kids out here. It's, all, it's a family sport. So all the way the kids to the elderly, you know, are out there. In a, I guess I can be considered an elderly at 63 years old. This event also has music, food, and vendors selling athletic gear. But most importantly, you can't put a price on feeling right at home. I just tell everybody that physical fitness is the best medicine out there. And then uh, being involved with sports, you meet a lot of great people. And it's the one place that I can forget I'm blind. Emily Elisha, reporting for KCN News.